Hello everybody, my name is Zach, aka The Weather Gamer, bringing you week two of NCL Blitzel. Your Chicago Charizard's taking on uh, its banded boom and his Green Bay Galissapods. I'm going to say this right now, poor choice in team. Chicago Bears over Green Bay Packers any day. Uh, we're coming off that very narrow 1-0 win. Um, hopefully... Early season jitters are out of the way, and I can start getting on a roll here. Uh, this is one nasty team that I have to deal with here. Uh, we do have our team of Mega Pidgeot, Dragapult, Blastoise, Shaman, Darmanitan, Zong, Stone Joiner, Tapu Koko, Amok, Lando Eye, and Hitmon Lee. Uh, Boom has got Mega Doom, Lele, Milotic. Zarina, Crobat, Cofagrigus, Kecleon, Garchomp, No Metal, Alolum, and Pinsir. I think Doom, Lele, Milotic, Crobat, probably Scarfed, Garchomp, and Mel Metal come. I think Alolum is a possibility because it could be there to try and trap my Zong. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm scooting back. I'm not seated right here. It's bothering me. Um. Maybe Cofagrigus comes to check Zong. Um, try and wall Dragapult, maybe. Um, I don't know. I'll, uh, we'll see. But I definitely think Doom, Lele, and Melmetal and Garchomp are coming. Just because they're such hard hitting Mons. And my team does not really have a good answer to Melmetal besides defensive Blast Toys. So. Jumping into the team builder here, um, shout outs to Photon for a lot of these sets, um, as well as the rest of the front office. But we have Pixie Plate, Coco with Calm Mind Roost, T Bolt, Dazzling Gleam. Um, speed stat wise, the 363 is to check up on the Mega Doom. Um, not trying to go for a speed tie with Crobat, just because Dragon Bolt can outspeed it. And I, Crobat's not switching in on this, so. Uh, the goal is to Calm Mind and then D-Gleam and Thunderbolt, either Oko, two-shot. Um, the only thing is Melmetal is a bit of an issue. Alolum is a bit of an issue. Um, AV's Arena could be a bit of an issue. but Otherwise, it kind of just pounds the team down. Um, could potentially sweep once those are out of the way. Uh, max Special Attack and then the rest of it went into bulk. Timid Nature in order to gain some bulk there. Um, Photon really likes plates for some reason. I don't know why, but he likes his plates. So Up next, we have fully defensive Blastoise with Rocky Helmet. This is to punish a potentially choice banded um, Melmetal using Double Iron Bash. Chip it down. Um, Melmetal stats are just so, so heavy duty. Um, Thing just hits like a truck, too. Uh, spin to clear hazards. Toxic for the Milotic. Um, we don't want that thing getting burned. And then Marble Scaling. Um, toxic is also good for the arena switching in. It's good to weaken cough. It's good to um, just good chip on everything. And then Scald and Ice Beam. Uh, Scald, if I could pick up, it's for Doom, obviously, but also to pick up Burns. Burning the arena would be great. Ice Beam's arena is also an option. Ice Beam the Crobat. Ice Beam slash, well, Skull the Cofagrigus, actually. Ice Beam Chomp to clear it. Melmetal potentially getting Skull burned would be huge. Alolum getting Skull burned is great. Pinsir, I don't think Pinsir's coming, but it would definitely not appreciate the burn. Dragon Pulse here with Expert Belt, um, Shadow Ball, Dragon Pulse, Fire Blast, Hydro. This is to outspeed the Crobat, so I'm faster than everything on the team. Um, max Special Attack, a little bit in bulk. Uh, this set pretty much just breaks down his team very well. Um, he does not really have a good switch in. Shadow or Hydro takes out Doom. Uh, uh, Shadow Ball takes out. Lele, my Lodic can switch in, and that's about it. Zarina gets Fire Blasted, Crobat gets Fire Blasted, Cofagrigus gets Shadow Balled, Kecleon gets hurt, 
Garchomp gets Dragon Pulse, and the Metal gets Fire Blasted, Alolum gets Hydroed, Pinsir gets um, Fire Blasted. So my Lotic pretty much is the only switch in to Dragon Pulse at this point. The E Belt just makes sure I do an extra little bit of damage without, and especially because it would hit all of his mods potentially super effective. He won't know what I am right now, we'll see if he picks up on the belt. Up next is Muck. So this is where the front office and I had a bit of a debate over what we were going to do. I kind of wanted to run with the Assault Vest Muck to check the Hound Doom. They wanted to run with um, Lando or... Um, potentially well, Pidgeot, Mega Pidgeot. I just didn't see either one of those as being potentially good fits, so I decided to go with AV Muck. It'll check up the Doom, um, and then I can Poison Jab and maybe I get a Poison Touch. Lele doesn't want to get Poison Jabbed and a Focus Blast is not going to do a ton to me with the AV. My Lodic, if I can knock off and get a Poison Touch, then it's not... Getting its burn damage, um, it'll start racking up toxic turns and trigger Marvel Scale that way. Um, Zarina doesn't want to get poison jabbed. Crobat, I'll knock off if it's scarfed. This also helps me check Cofagrigus by knocking that off. Um, Keck, I just pretty much I click knock off. Ice punches for Garchomp trying to switch in. I'll two shot Garchomp. Um, and the way my set is, oh, I'm serious nature. Okay. Uh, be... No. Yeah, I'm serious nature. Supposed to be impish nature. Um, the way the set is built is it can take one earthquake, um, so I can guarantee kill with two ice punches. I don't take banded double iron bash um, very well. Well, that's fire punches at least. If I could get a fire punch burn on the Mel Metal, that'd be great. Uh, Alolum. Uh, I have to remember it's not part ground type. It's rock electric, so probably poison jab or knock off on that. Pincer gets fire punched. But I feel like I need this in order to beat Mega Doom. Otherwise, I'm going to lose to Doom if it nasty plots on me because Blastoise is full of fizz death. And my Spadef wall is Bronzong, which is not going to want to take those hits. I am Levitate to stop Earthquaking. Uh, body Press Stealth Rock, Reflect, and Toxic. Putting up a Reflect to try and help me deal with... Because Melmetal is such a problem for my team. I want to be able to deal with that Double Iron Bash. The Body Press is actually my best way of hitting that thing back. Uh, rocks are nice chip. And then Toxic, same reason I'm carrying Toxic on other mods, is just good chip. Um, and being able to Toxic the Cofagrigus or the Garchomp, um, two direct checks to this if he thinks I'm uh, Flame Body or Flame, uh, what's his ability? Heat Proof over Levitate, um, even though there's Garchomp right there. The other thing is Levitate's good for the Alolum because it's probably Trapper Alolum, so... And Body Press will hit that back, so... But yeah, that is Bronzong. And then finally we have Banded Darmanitan here with Flare Blitz, U-Turn, Earthquake, and Toxic. I Toxic the Milotic. Um, again, I don't want this thing getting a Marble Scale Burn. U-Turn uh, will do a lot of damage to these two. Flare Blitz will clear out Zarina. Flare Blitz... Flare Blitz, unless this is like max defense. Flare Blitz should two shot. Uh, Earthquake's gonna do a lot of damage to the Mel Metal as well. Flare Blitz actually oh because um, Mel Metal unless it's like a super defensive type. So, and then Pinsir just gets obliterated by Flare Blitz. Garchomp, I'm gonna U-turn on uh, until I get it chipped, and then I'll band it Earthquake it. So. But yeah, that's going to be the team builder. Hopefully we can keep the momentum going, pick up a win, and start the season off like we did season the previous season, go 2-0. So I will see you guys tomorrow for the match.